Hello everyone, another video on gearboxes with my cup of tea and snacks. We love snacks. Welcome back to the X Crouch Marine. It's been a while since I've done a video. Today we've got a Techno Drive. Yeah, one of these little strange boxes, a little focus. It's a TMC 60p. Um, this box has come off of a Vitus engine, so there's a little bit yellow paint left all over it, but uh, typically speaking, they can come off a lot of engines. They're very, very similar to PRM's boxes. They're mechanical boxes, like 150, sorry, correction, 120 and 125. Um, they have the same, the same selection mechanism which selects it, the floating mechanism in there which fits into the clutch, and they've got exactly the same clutch, which is really interesting. However, PRM have actually made their new clutches a lot better than the old style. This has got like the 120 style clutch. So this has got a, a nice shiny clutch in there, as you can see. Not much, not much to report on them really. They're basically the same box, just in a different packaging. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about then. Patents are patents, and what can I say? Um, this is a two to one ratio. Slightly smaller package, it seems. Um, I'm not actually sure the exact dimensions compared to a, a 120. Um, but yeah, why why these boxes compared to one a 120, 125? Don't know. Don't know what to say really. It's exactly the same clutch. Here's, um, here's a clutch pack from a, a 120 I took out. As you can see, it's got a slightly different clutch in there. It's got the um, grooves cut out of it to disperse oil. But the 125 has a different system. They, what they've done is they've taken that away and put it on inside there, as you'll see in one of my other videos. And this is worn out. This is a really worn out one. Those bearings are actually on the, on the Techno Drive. I've actually changed two, the, the input, sorry, the output shaft bearings were, were, were grouchy, making horrible noises. Really nasty. So basically, the same as, as uh, the mechanical 120s, these operate quite straightforward. So you've got the input shaft here where my hand is, so that'll be going into the engine flywheel. And as you spin that round, you get all your gears going. And here's your lay shaft, that's what delivers uh, power to the reversing gear, which is at the front, up front here. And there's your um, a head gear. And like before, whichever way that clutch is engaged is whichever gear. So that floats in the middle allows all the, the two gears to spin independently and when you turn your control mechanism that will push that cone into one of the gears and then give you the drive as you can see same business so mechanically driven always mechanically driven on a combustion engine they're always spinning so input will be anti-clockwise because the front of the engine is, is clockwise so anti-clockwise on the uh, rear point of view there's your taper bearings good for thrusting um, output coupling so over here on the bench once the casing's on, that goes in there with the new seals. It goes on the spline, and you drop the centre nut. That will attach to your um, propeller shaft. So I had this apart. It needed some repair work done to it. And then uh, potentially could go back to doing some service work. I may attach it to this BMC I'm rebuilding, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. There we go. Only a short video. There's not much point going into it any more than that. It's literally the, the same principle as uh, other mechanical boxes with the same clutch system. So as I said before... Input um, shaft is constantly being uh, delivered power. It's actually that way around, I believe, anti-clockwise from the engine point of view. So this front gear here is driving the reversing gear, and then this gear here is driving the uh, head gear. And then when you change, whichever way around it is, in fact, whenever you change drive connection, that drive will give power to one of those gears, and then it'll give you a head or a stern. Nice, compact, small box, um, which is better. Pass. Um, I've had quite a few of these fail. Why? I think they're cheap out in the bearings. Don't quote me on that though. But the in input shaft bearings are really making a horrible noise. Don't quite know why. It wasn't a very old box or old engine. But there we go. It needed some work and I've done what it needed doing. New seals, good clean out. There we go. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. I am still trying to grow the channel. Uh, I'm not putting up content as much as I'd like to. Um, just finding time. It's like everything in life. But I've got a new toy to play with. I bought myself a TIG welder. Ha <laughs> That's going to be good fun, that is. I'll get that out later. I might do some TIGging on camera. I'll see how well we get on with that. I've got to get it set up first and plugged in and gassed up. So, Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.